Okay, I'm hoping that this will be a quick demonstration of the CalDigit um, Thunderbolt Station 2. Um, the reason I got that is because I've been building a workflow that's going, hopefully going to be using this camera for recording a conference. And uh, so I bought this product, the, the Blackmagic Design Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. And it, it works great, um, but my MacBook only has one Thunderbolt port. So um, I discovered that while this is working really well, um, I was only able to work with the 13-inch screen on the MacBook because I normally I would have a 22-inch um, 22-inch uh, TV slash monitor hooked up to the to the uh, Thunderbolt port using an HDMI adapter. So um, so anyway, I've been in search for a way to get a display and and um, and I've got a whole bunch of other stuff plugged up as well. So anyway, I'll, for like for instance, right now I'm using this Samson Go mic as my microphone. Could be using the mic in here, but I've got this Go mic hooked up, which I like. Um, I have the Logitech C920. Let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and switch to um, I'm gonna switch cameras. And this is one of the things that I'm I'm going to be um, doing in the in the conference. Probably not as much as I am doing in this little demo, but I'm going to pull up the settings in this Google Hangouts on Air, and let me pause for a second because I'm going to switch cameras, and sometimes it, it takes a couple of seconds to, to change. All right, so now we are looking at my little setup here with the Canon camera that has the 28x optical zoom, which is not good for this particular purpose, but... Um, it's what I'm going to be using, and I have it on this little this little tripod. Um, actually, you can see um, you can see a picture there. This is a this is actually a new new um, mount for the tripod, so I can get the nice smooth panning and so forth. But anyway, so you can you can actually see I have the uh, Vizio 22 inch 1080p TV hooked up. It's actually hooked up to an HDMI port down here on this. Um, this is the so this is the uh, CalDigit Thunderbolt Station Two, and um, I've got a another wireless microphone that I'm hoping to use during the during the broadcast, hooked up to a USB port that's on the front. I actually have speakers right now that are plugged into this. Uh, you know, you're not you won't be hearing them at all in this demonstration, but. Um, this little piece is made of solid aluminum, and it's actually quite heavy. Um, it's also quite warm right now as well. So I have, as you can see, I have one Thunderbolt port or one, one Thunderbolt cord going into my 13-inch MacBook Pro, which this model only has one Thunderbolt port. You know, some of the newer models, by the way, this is a 2000, early 2011 MacBook Pro. So this is the first model MacBook Pro that had a Thunderbolt. It, it is Thunderbolt 1, although this little guy is capable of doing Thunderbolt 2. So if you were wondering if this whole setup would work on a Thunderbolt 1 port, yes, it does. So theoretically, we could have all this hooked up to even a MacBook Air, which um, has just the one Thunderbolt port and uh, two USB ports, and that's all it's got. But So I have... Um, a wireless adapter hooked up to the USB port on the front. I have the Logitech C920 um, camera that I was using for, for the shot of me. This is the Samsung Go mic, so there's two USB ports here. I'm actually using the Ethernet port that's built into this as well. So if, you know, my, my MacBook Pro actually has an Ethernet port right here, but this is just for demonstration purposes. You can, you know, if you did have a MacBook Air or if you had a MacBook Pro Retina that doesn't have um, Ethernet, this is working just fine, and we're actually broadcasting over this Ethernet port. Um, this is uh, this is the the Thunderbolt port that is plugged up to to the Mac, and then I have the Ultra Ultra Studio Mini Recorder using another Thunderbolt cable that is plugged into this. So 
I'm using three USB ports, Ethernet, um, HDMI right here that's going to the to the Vizio 22 inch 1080p TV. It, they say it'll go up to 4K. I'm not demonstrating that at all. Um, I'm not using the two additional eSATA ports that are also on this. So um, so anyway, it's a pretty impressive array of, of ports. And, um, and I've been using it for a couple of hours now. Just got it today. It's actually quite warm, um, which this aluminum, the, the, uh, you know, the aluminum, the way they've got it, this is almost acting like a heat sink. So uh, I don't think this is just a design to look nice feature. It is designed to draw heat away from the box. Also, this little this little guy right here, the the uh, Blackmagic Design Ultra Studio Mini Recorder, is also almost hot to the touch here, but that doesn't seem to affect the performance at all. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna I'll switch cameras back, but I don't see any um, I don't see don't see any reason to spend much time talking much more time talking about this but thank you for watching um, and if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments so thank you very much and uh, oh I did forget to I forgot to test one more thing let me uh, let me stop this I have this was the uh, the Samson wireless mic that um, I actually reviewed in another another review on my channel and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on so um, and I'm going to go into the settings of the Google Hangout. And you can change midstream here. So this is going to be the US, um, the Samson RXD wireless receiver. So I believe you're hearing me through this microphone now. So this microphone, I've, I've tested this in the other, uh, in my other review going about at least 20 feet away from uh, the computer. So this is actually communicating to the receiver that is plugged into the CalDigit um, Thunderbolt Station 2. So anyway, I think I've tested everything now. I've tested the Go mic. I've tested this. I've tested the Canon camera using the the Blackmagic Design Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. Um, we're using the Ethernet. The only thing I haven't tested, I don't have any eSATA devices, so um, can't test that at all, but putting this thing to the, t uh, kind of pushing it to the limit here on a early 2000 13 inch MacBook pro low end model. Um, so anyway, again, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and hopefully that was helpful to someone. Have a good night.